Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. All right, man. Hey, man. Hey, we had another uh, segment of uh, Rich People Problems, man. Mm-hmm. Or, hey, man, RPP. RPP, man. It's, it's, uh, it's going down, man. So, um, <clears throat> today's segment of Rich People Problem, man, um, we're going to be talking about a couple of t- couple of different things. Um, what you got? I got, it says, this is about Simon Cowell, right? Okay. e Crashes another e-bike, lands in hospital with broken bones. And apparently this wasn't the first time this actually happened to him. But um, let me see. It says, as we reported, this was not Simon's first crash. In August 2020, he got a brand spanking new e-bike and literally got on it in his driveway and it lunged forward, crashing and as a result, Simon broke his back in three places. And that three was places? In three places. And this was back in August. And this time, when he just crashed, it said it, he broke bones again. I'm like, Simon, just keep off of these bikes. Really, that's what it really means. <sighs> but, you know, in this article, it just said, okay, make sure you're wearing a helmet this time. Because in both cases, he wasn't wearing a helmet. But a helmet didn't stop him from breaking his bones. Man. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm just tr- stay off of the bikes. I'm, well, you know, you get this. <laughs> these people, they get bored easy because they have a lot of things they can do, you know, with a lot of different things at their fingertips. So, Simon, um, yeah, I, I agree with you. It, it, it's something that he needs to. He's getting older. He needs to and pay attention. And you can older, get older. These bones take longer to heal. to heal. So just might as well just stay off of it. He didn't even seem like he was such an adrenaline junkie anyway to me. Well, he definitely uh, he definitely has an opinion. Uh, uh, he's usually hard on others. I hope he'll be hard on himself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. man, that's crazy, though, man. So what else we got? Um, I think I had looked at the Hot Boy West, Gucci Man's artist, man. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Gucci Man. But Hot Boy West, man, I tried to get you on the show, man. I, I remember I reached out to him and uh, – just it didn't ever happen, but I hate to see it. But look like he's gotten in trouble again. Uh, I say again because he he hadn't been long got out, but um, look like he's. Uh, it says that the U.S. Marshal Service Lone Star Fugitive Task Force on Monday arrests a well-known Waco rap artist, Wesley Taquan Lewis, also known as Hot Boy West, was arrested Monday afternoon. The 26-year-old Lewis is wanted on a Hewitt Police Department robbery warrant. He was listed on the McLean, uh, McLennan County Jail log Monday night with two additional charges for, from the McLean uh, County Sheriff's Office of unlawful possession of a firearm by a felony and theft of a firearm. Mm-hmm. Um, man, you know, and this is not the first time that Pooh Shiesty went also one of one of Gucci Man's uh, artists. So it's it, it's it's Fugiano. Okay, it was Fugiano, uh, Hot Boy West, and Pooh Pooh Shiesty. Mm-hmm. Not in that order, but mm-hmm. uh, all of them signed a ten seventeen, and all of them uh, are now in jail. Mm. So it's crazy because these guys have great opportunity that they're 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 in the midst of millions are able to they can almost get it touch it but then at the twinkling of an eye a moment and boom you know they're they're in, they're in trouble what do you think about that that's crazy I, I think it's just boredom just the devil really that's all it is why people can get in trouble about all these different things yeah these guys man not are, putting productive things in place to keep them out of trouble well i think they and dope artists man you got to realize man um Gucci ain't going to just pick you unless it's something about you. Mm-hmm. He, he definitely can feel the streets, but he also see potential in you because he came from that. So it's whether he want to admit it or not, it's like his ministry. But since he's so, reformed, like you, you got to find a way how, how to keep everybody else out of that predicament. Well, I can't say that because a lot of time when you're trying to help people, even they're in, the, they're in their condition, mm-hmm. but you, you have to meet them where they're at. Right. And then he, they had to see the change in him. He's walking in change. You know that he changed. Now he's given them the tools to see that he changed. And I know that when they sit down and then he's writing them or if he's reaching out to them after that, 
he's able to talk and correspond to with them because he's been through the same thing that they're facing. So I know that that's something that his ministry evolves in. And people are like, well, that, that, that bull crap, because he's been through it. So he's able to, even now with Pooh Shiesty, uh, uh, uh the other one, Fujiano, uh, um, even with, uh, um, with Hot Boy West, Gucci Man can still communicate with him. It's not over. Um, and he's able to talk to him and touch points that they're dealing with right now and able to get them to still listen to him. And I know that because mm-hmm. I understand it because I've been through a lot. And and so that's dope in itself that they still can make that connection even now yet and still. Right. So, uh, man, I hate to hear that about Hot Boy West, though. Uh, Waco, Texas, man, right here around the corner from us, man, would have loved to have been able to. Uh, deal with him, uh, but if I, I might can reach him now for sure, just write him a letter because I it, it definitely exactly. definitely can write a fan letter, right? Mm-hmm. Man, but ha- hate to hear that, man. How about West, man? But you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about um, Nick Cannon. What Nick Cannon do? Having another baby again. The I fans, did a post the, on that. The fans going in on him because you know he just lost a, a child yeah, recently, yeah. and then some people are saying, well. This child just passed away, and this child is about to be born. But, the, I mean, this one was already, you know, in the oven. So it's like he's just popping babies back to back to back to back. But he said that before. He said, I'm going to always have kids. And apparently he's always going to have kids with multiple people. It's never hardly ever the same person that he's having all these children with. Well, you know, he got the money to afford it, I guess, uh uh, shout out to Nick Cannon. I mean, you know, he's doing what he wants to do. Um, I, I don't know how to say. I, me, I wouldn't do it that way. I mean, I've somewhat done it that way. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it wasn't planned and purposely done. But I was young, man, too. But for as many that he's had, some people are talking about uh, it's psychological. Uh, like, they need to get him counseling. And I'm like, do you really feel like it's it's that matter of needing counseling while he's doing it like is he trying to gain that unconditional love from these kids that he never had before why do you think he's doing this i think he's doing it because there's something to me um for me i know already that every man have voids that have to be filled so you have a physical void you have a uh you have a uh emotional void you you have a uh, a mental void or whatever you know what I mean, and you have a spiritual void, and just voids of a man have to be filled. And if you don't fill them, then you'll always feel like you there's something more that you're trying to grasp. So it don't matter how much money you got, it don't matter how much uh, uh, materialistic uh, the things that you possess. That don't matter. What matters is you still have a longing. Uh, there's something inside of you that says something's missing. Or do you think he's like? With like that community <clears throat> that have um, just multiple women all at the same time that are just having kids with them. Because I know people who are like that, who are living that life, that they choose openly to have what an open relationship with multiple people and don't care if they have kids with all of these different people. Well, like I said, it's easy for our people to get caught up in that because uh, we've been tossed to and fro. Uh, our ancestors was drugged house to house, sold off. Uh, this is something that's not new for the black community. I'll just say it like that. Mm-hmm. People that look like you and I um, have been uh, tossed from one house to the next house to the next high bidder to the next high bidder, leaving children along the way because they was still left in conditions because they had to um, they had to keep keep their possessions to a to a to a paperwork uh, uh status you know what i mean so yeah the 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 homes have been t- being torn apart when it comes to our people so um nick is really not doing nothing new mm-hmm. <laughs> so it is what it is man shout out to nick cannon though man i really love the way that he keeps pushing his brand uh shout out to 85 south shout out to all of those different people that uh Nick Cannon actually put a lot of people on in the businesses, man. And uh, Nick Cannon is one of those guys that you can't touch him. I don't care how many kids he got. Mm -hmm. He's ours, and we keeping him. And it doesn't seem like he's a deadbeat dad anyway. No, no, good guy. Great, great guy, actually. Shout out to Nick Cannon. Um, What else you got? That's it. Oh, that's it? That's it. That's short and sweet. Short and sweet. Hey, man, thank you guys, man. We'd like for you guys to make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you... um, uh, uh, 
hey, get at us. Uh, the bosses have spoken. Our team of people who are always come in and giving us those great comments. Keep doing it, man. And and also just anybody out there that's thinking people need to, uh, they know somebody that need to be on Boss Talk 101, make sure you get at us. DM us at, uh, it's going to be at uh, Boss Talk Podcast 101. Uh, at gmail.com gmail com or on Instagram. You can hit, hit us up as well. Um, we just appreciate everybody that's been uh, pretty much uh, knocking out opportunities and, and, and following what we're doing. And uh, this is a new adventure, but it's getting, hey, it's getting good now, man. Shout out to all the fans, man. Thank you guys, man, for watching. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna take